often get asked what a labor model is and why having an accurate labor model is so important. And in this video, I'm going to explain that in five levels of difficulty. Level one, what is a labor model? A labor model at its foundation is something that's used to convert demand, whether that's sales demand, the number of units that you're going to move, the number of guests that you're going to serve, to convert that demand into labor. And that labor is often expressed in number of hours or the number of people required to serve that demand. Level two. At its core, a labor model is a collection of labor standards. And a labor standard is simply a time value. It says here's the average amount of time it takes your average employee to perform a particular task correctly. And all of those time values together for all of the work that needs to be done in your location represents your labor model. Level three, a good labor standard is not just simply a time value, but it's a breakdown of that task into multiple parts and has a time value associated with each of those parts. For example, a cashiering task may be broken down into greeting a customer, scanning items, bagging those items, and then tendering the transaction. Each of those steps have a different value associated with them and the sum of those values represent the task and that represents the labor standard. Level four. One of the important concepts associated with your labor model is recognizing that two stores that may look similar are gonna have different labor needs because they have different equipment or they have different attributes associated with those locations. So for example, with receiving, having a dolly, a hand jack, or a forklift is gonna change the amount of time it takes to get cartons or pallets off of a truck. On the front of the house, square footage, number of cash registers, number of entrances, all may influence how one store may get more or less labor than another store, even though on the surface, they have the same amount of demand. Level five. As you can imagine, your labor model consists of hundreds, if not thousands of labor standards that capture all the variation associated with all of your locations. Managing this takes more than simply a stopwatch and Excel. It requires a very strong methodology with enterprise-grade tools like Opus and Studia to be able to not just build this complex labor model, but be able to maintain it and deploy it to your workforce management system. If you're doing this all correctly, the benefit of a well-built labor model is it gives your locations the hours they need to serve your customers and allows you to make the most of your payroll spend.